Hello Leo, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at what's coming your way in love and where is it all headed next. As always, these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Leo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance uh, for additional messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. All of the playlists are linked in the description box. All right, so let's jump right in for Leo. Spirits, messages, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Leo. What can Leo expect in love? Can Leo expect in love in February 2022? Oh, wow. We have mirrored souls united and divine masculine. What else? Can I get one more, please, for Leo? Really need to know spirit about what's headed their way when it comes to love. Closed off. Bottom of the deck, cold shoulder. Yeah, okay. So this is possibly like a soulmate reading or a reading about coming together with a soulmate or someone wanting to come together with a soulmate and it just hasn't happened because someone's closed off. Let's see what we get with the tarot. Let me get some guidance messages, please, for Leo. What can Leo expect? In love, spirit. What can Leo expect? In love. We have the Nine of Pentacles reverse, the Emperor reverse, Aries energy, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and then there's the Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups reversed, Judgment. Bottom of the deck, overall energy, the Sun reverse. Hmm. So one of the messages I'm getting is that someone has not been able to step up to the plate. They haven't been able to do what they should do. I feel like the other person's waiting for them with the seven of pentacles, or maybe they're wondering if anything will come out of this. The nine of pentacles reverse is someone that's not secure, not safe, not stable, and dependent on someone else. Rather than being independent, they are dependent, attached. And the Emperor Reverse is someone that cannot, they're powerless or they feel powerless. They feel like they can't get control of the situation. Things are out of their hands, out of their control. So let's see what this is all about. Tell me about the Sun Reverse though. This is the overall energy, a lack of clarity, unhappiness, Why is the sun reverse? Sometimes when the sun is reverse, I think of the moon. Why is the sun reverse? The high priestess. Yeah, there's, I feel like there's something secret hidden with the high priestess. Maybe someone's closed off, keeping their thoughts, their feelings to themselves. And this makes the other person unhappy. Tell me about the sun reverse. The eight of wands. I feel like someone just wants to have this communication. Six of Wands, Ace of Cups. Mm. I think what I, what's going on here is that two people are not on the same page. Tell me about the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? Death, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Ten of Wands. And the Two of Swords. Well, death is all about changes, transformations, endings. And the Ten of Wands is about burdens, obligations.
I think that both of you are unhappy, but for different reasons. I think with the high priestess here in death, um, I'm almost getting like something could have ended or changed drastically. And the person is one of them. One of the people involved is very guarded, closed off. They're not speaking. They're keeping things to themselves. Maybe they've blocked communication. Maybe they just don't want to talk right now. And the eight of wands here with the ten of wands, it's almost like Someone could be overwhelmed. Let's see if this makes more sense when we start looking at what's going on down here. I'm sure all of this is connected. I just don't see it right now. So let's talk about this Nine of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Five of Wands, conflict, drama, not seeing eye to eye, not being able to work together. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles reverse, the Eight of Pentacles. There's the sun again. What is this about? The King of Pentacles. Oh, and I see the Eight of Pentacles here with the Five of Wands. I think of someone trying to work things out. Showing effort. But see, I just don't think it's successful. Can I get one more for the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, again, I get this message of someone that's, you're not on the same page. Okay, tell me about the Emperor Reverse, and then we'll see if I can look at all of these together once I clarify the Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Emperor Reverse? Why is the Emperor Reverse? This could also be someone upset. Okay, the Ace of Wands. Why is the Emperor Reverse? Knight of Pentacles, okay. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Chariot, Cancer Energy, King of Wands, and then the Eight of Cups. So someone's wondering if there's going to be a departure. Ten of, Pen Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This emperor wants a new beginning, wants to have this new opportunity, but they can't. It's out of their control. It's not happening. I feel like this drama is, this is, this could be drama outside of your connection as well, Leo, but I feel like this drama, it's like you both are seeing it differently or someone's effort is not enough with this drama. That's kind of the energy I'm picking up on. It doesn't make quite a lot of sense because this drama could be anything. It could be something very small. It could be a huge conflict between you or outside of your connection. But this Two of Pentacles and this Eight of Pentacles, I think of someone that's trying to do too much or just trying to try anything and see what sticks, you know, going back and forth, weighing their options, kind of juggling a lot and it's just not working it's not successful i think someone is there's something here where someone w maybe wants to be detached unattached but they can't and this emperor reverse which is this masculine energy here uh i think if it were up to them the situation would be very different but it's, it's just not working out things are not working out for this emperor Seven of Pentacles with the Chariot and this and the Eight of Cups is literally, will I be able to make this move? Will, if I do leave something behind with this Eight of Cups and the Chariot, 
if I if I take the risk and I'm fearless and I go after what I truly want, will I be successful? Will it work out in the end? It could be that this is what keeps someone back, you know, the fact that they don't know. So where is all this headed? We have the Knight of Swords, which is some sort of message, truth. The Knight of Cups Reverse is typically someone heartbroken, disappointed. And then judgment. Very important energy here. So we'll see what that's about. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Fool. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? The hangman yeah I think that's oh wow in the world after that so I think this is all about someone wanting to be free of their situation but they're stuck instead I mean how I, I keep getting this message for people the death card is here the world is here ace of wands is here chariot eight of cups this is definitely a, a theme about closing cycles, leaving things behind, and moving on, starting new cycles. But this Knight of Swords is like someone communicating this to you. Can I get one more for the Knight of Swords? Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, I think that this person is going to tell you the situation but the hermit the hangman i just don't see them actually doing anything this is just a lot of thinking planning i just the hangman can't really move this could also be that someone has realized something about their predicament and they want to talk to you about it why is the knight of cups reverse Why is the Knight of Cups reverse? King of Pentacles. You can be dealing with an Earth sign, a Cancer, an Aries, a Virgo. Those are just the signs that happen to come out. A Scorpio as well. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse. Ace of Swords. And then there's the Empress. I feel like this communication is disappointing for someone. Possibly this Empress. Maybe this empress has been waiting for a long time. I get the sense that neither of you are happy. You're not happy, Leo, but neither is your person. You're both disappointed or unhappy. I don't see a lot of action here. I mean, I, ju I just see communication so far. Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords. Tell me about judgment. What can you tell me about Judgment Spirit? Why is Judgment here? Ten of Swords. Yikes. Why is Judgment here? What can you tell me about Judgment? Four of Wands. Can I get one more? One more for Judgment. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. I think someone's having a realization about an ending. I think that they are having a wake-up call, perhaps, about an ending. They could even be having a wake-up call about a current partnership at home. Or a current situation at home I have the king and queen of Pentacles here and to me for me as a reader they tend to be married a married couple um, so someone could be having a realization about an ending with a partner or an ending happening at home the seven of cups is telling me that they're possibly evaluating different options choices to them maybe they're trying to see where they could go from here or you know, what options are available to them, something like that. Tell me about the Seven of Cups.
Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords, King of Cups, and the Four of Swords. I think someone might make the wrong choice here if they're not careful, just out of desperation. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Because maybe they realize this awakening while wow, there's the tower. They've realized this awakening, they've or they've realized this situation about that they're getting clarity somehow. And yeah, nine of cups. And I feel like they can taste victory or the possibilities. And so they're like desperately trying to make something happen quickly here with this eight of wands, chariot, knight of swords. This is fast movement. Um the star. I just don't think it's going to be that simple. The Ten of Wands is here. The Nine of Wands is here. Ten of Swords. Five of Wands. I sense that there is conflict or the possibilities of things not working out for your person. Um, yeah, Three of Wands. I feel like there might be delays. Um, and things just might erupt with this tower. So I think what's happening is that you're both unhappy, but one of you is doing something about it. And it, and it somehow relates to the other person too. Like the other person's also going to be affected by this. I don't see strict action right now. I just see communication. So um, if you've been waiting for your person to act, if you're this empress that has been waiting for action from their person, I think the action's not really going to... It's basically going to be communication. Let me get a stellar soulmate oracle. What do we need to know about this person, spirit, that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with? What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Leo or this connection? What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Leo or this connection? What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Leo? Oh, we got two. No, three. There's so much I wish I could do over again. I regret not taking action sooner. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. Wow. Lots of regrets here. Destiny will help us find each other at the bottom of the deck. I was just curious. Wow, there's so much I wish I could do over again. I regret not taking action sooner and the grass wasn't greener on the other side very clear energies i mean there's only one way to interpret these so your person i feel like this is the realization that the grass wasn't greener that they've made mistakes that they regret not taking action sooner if you're dealing with an aries this is very similar energy you might want to check out that reading if you're curious otherwise i'll leave it here leo thank you so much for watching hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more content from me and i will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.